We have one last thing to do. We have our warm up with Dragon. Let's say hi to Dragon one last time this summer. Hello, Dragon. So, for our warm up today, we are going to listen and watch the Baby Shark Wash Your Hands Challenge. Are you ready? done with our warm-up. Bye, Mr. Dragon. We'll see you in September. So, what I want all of you to do at home this week and for the rest of the month is to practice washing your hands. We should wash our hands when we come home from places. We should wash our hands before and after we eat. And we should wash our hands after we use the bathroom or get changed. So, be sure to practice washing your hands, and it'll be great practice for when we get back to school and we get back on our routine of washing our hands before we eat, after we eat, when we get to school, before we leave school, and after we come in from the playground. So, make sure you get those bubbles going on your hands and scrub, 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 all right? I hope everyone has a great break this next couple weeks and we can't wait to see you again in September. Also parents please be on the lookout for information being sent to you guys via email, text, and our Remind messaging map. There will be some important information coming up including our parent orientation, paperwork that we need to have updated for your kids to continue receiving services, and just more general information about safety when returning to school and in uh, the future. All right. Have a good one. Bye. Hi, everyone. Today, I wanted to take a couple minutes to talk to all of you just about some things that you can try at home. Um, and this is especially good for the kids that will be returning to the classroom, but also really good for the kids that are remaining virtual and receiving teletherapy. These are things that we can all use and utilize, um, especially with the COVID-19 germs that we are trying to keep out of our systems. So one thing that we can do is continue to practice hand washing and that might look like increasing hand washing at home with your child just so they can start to get used to the amount that we hand wash in school again. So we always wash our hands when we enter the room. So that's whether we're coming in the room for the first time or we're coming in from outside play, uh, like on the playground or going for a walk. Another thing, or another time that we wash our hands are before and after we eat. Um, especially kids often eat with their hands, so their hands can get um, their saliva on it, and we want to make sure that we wash those uh, and make sure that they're nice and clean and the germs are off of them. Another time that we wash hands is anytime um, a child gets changed or uses the bathroom, that child washes their hands. So that's another practice that you can start to utilize in your home. 
And we also wash hands any time that they have any kind of um, dirt from messy play or um, they sneeze on their hands, they wipe their nose with their hands, anything like that, we make sure that the children wash their hands. So the way that we use this in school and to help encourage the kids to want to wash their hands more is we often sing the alphabet song just like you heard in uh, the circle time video. Another strategy we use is just counting from 1 to 20. A lot of times our kids just love that rote counting and they love to join in with it. And a third uh, way that we will help make the time pass for the child because 20 seconds can feel like a long time for them is we will sing the happy birthday song twice. A lot of times the kids really enjoy that. Um, so those are just three ways that we help make the time go by as we are helping to wash their hands. The more that you help to uh, instill the hand washing and the more that we practice hand washing, the easier it comes to um, being more independent in hand washing. So that's just one way we can help. Another way we can help is to help your child just be able to tolerate seeing others in a mask. I know many children have not been going out as many places due to their health um, and their safety. So they haven't been seeing um, all the people outside wearing masks. So it can be a little bit scary um, for some kids and they're just not, might not be used to it. A lot of kids might try to pull your mask off. And of course, we're going to be wearing both face masks and a face shield while we're in school. So we want your child to start to begin to be more comfortable with the fact that an adult will be wearing a face mask um, and a face shield. So one way we can do that is to wear this around the house while you're cooking dinner, while you're playing with your child. Just kind of pop your mask on just like this for a little bit just so that they can see and realize that just because I have a mask on doesn't make me scary and I'm still the same person that I am with and without a mask on. So that's one thing we can work on. Another thing that we can work on that is going to be very tough but it is worth trying is just increasing the tolerance for your child wearing a mask. We know that Many of our students are not going to be able to tolerate wearing masks, especially for long periods of time. Um, but it's still really good to start practicing being able to tolerate even having a mask being put on and wearing it for a couple minutes. So one way that we can do this is to have your child try and wear a mask during their favorite activities, such as using slime or Play-Doh, watching a favorite TV show, or using their tablet for free time. So you might just have to start with even them tolerating you placing the mask on their ears. So you might just put it on and count to two and remove it and be all done and give your child a lot of verbal praise, um, even maybe a reinforcement of some kind. So that's one way that we can start to utilize it. Um, then you'll want to start to work on maybe them tolerating wearing it for 5 seconds and then 10 seconds and then 15 seconds and slowly increase by then, uh, by those 5 second intervals. Um, other kids might be able to tolerate wearing it for a minute. So then you'd want to start to increase it by, you know, 30 seconds to a minute each time maybe you try having your child wear it. Um, so those are just some ways that you can help your child start to get used to things that they're going to be seeing in school and in the outside world. And of course, if you would like copies of the two social stories I read about um, people wearing face masks or people wearing face shields, uh, we'll be happy to mail them to you. You can email us at the emails listed in the contact info on the, our YouTube channel or if you have any questions or comments or you need help with anything, please contact your teacher or your center's director with anything. We'll be happy to help you. Um, and of course, keep an eye out 
We are going to be having a parent orientation for each of our schools this week. We will be sending out that information to you via text, remind message, and or email. So please keep an eye out for that. And if you haven't received it, please reach out to your teacher um, by the end of Tuesday if you haven't heard anything so that we are sure to get that information to you. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.